Hello, guys. Welcome to our talk show. Today, we are very honored to have invited the chief photographer, <laughs> right from National Geography, Annie Griffiths, Griffiths on our show. It's a Hi, tough name. Annie. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome to our talk show. Thank you. Welcome, welcome to China. Also, thank you. Uh, is this your first time here in China? Uh, no, it's not my first time, but it's my first time in Beijing. Ah, so so far, how do you like Beijing? Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I've had a you know just been here a couple of days, but it's been a great visit. Wow. As the, um, uh, the photographer, chief photographer in the National Geography, what's it like working here? Well, um, I'm just one of many, many photographers at National Geographic, and uh, you know, it's to me, it's the best job in the world because I get to travel and learn and meet people from all over the world. So I've worked in about 150 countries. Wow, that's. Almost like traveled around the world. Oh, there's still a lot of places I want to <laughs> go. Yeah, and uh, I know we have seen some wonderful pictures taken by you. Oh, would you mind sharing some of the secrets of taking wonderful pictures with our audience? Oh, I think it's um, it's mainly about having curiosity mm -hmm. and and wanting to learn more, wanting to you know get close to people and get to know them and understand them so that you mm. can um, take pictures that are an accurate reflection of a oh. culture, mm -hmm. of a place, and then share that with the wider world so that we all get to know each other a little better. Yeah, so can you tell us when in the first place did you find your passion for you know, taking pictures? In college, actually. I, I was in uh, journalism, but I was going to be a writer, so I, I oh. always loved stories. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I got a camera and took a class and realized I could tell stories with a camera also. And oh. so I, that's it's like what writing happened. with cameras. Yes, right. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, so it's happened in college. Well, after yes. you graduated from college, did you go directly to National directly. Geography? No, um, I went to newspapers first uh -huh. um, for a couple of years, and then I went to National Geographic. I was very lucky. Oh, I see. So, Amon, I know you have taken so many uh, like masterpieces oh, of, of yeah, photos. You're very kind. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can you tell us some, you know, your most proud moment in your life, in your career? Well. <coughs> I think my, my proudest moments come when I am documenting something mm -hmm. where the pictures can help people understand and begin change. Mm. So I work a lot, especially with poor, with poor women in different parts of the world, mm -hmm. and I love to show uh, how smart and funny and capable they are mm -hmm. um, so that people will support them. And, and realize that. Uh, so that's, I think those are my proudest moments is when I'm with them. Mm -hmm. uh, two weeks ago I was in Tanzania and I oh. was with uh, these wonderful women who were putting solar panels on top of traditional huts. In oh. the, you know, uh, and it was, they were so smart and, and proud and, and they were really making a difference in people's lives. I see. Wow. So the proudest moment is not about you. About it's about helping others. Yeah. You very much so. Wow. Good. Good. That's really uh, inspiring, and that also shows you have a really kind heart. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but do, think. Yeah. I mean, in all my travels, they've been so kind to me. So mm. if I have the ability to help them as well, that's what I want to do. So how do you choose your travel destinations? Nations usually. Um. You know, sometimes I propose stories, mm -hmm. but very often I'm asked to go to do this coverage or that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a combination of, of my ideas and then other people who invite me to, to I see. cover. Have you encountered some you know, challenges during your trips to, to certain places to take photos? What are some common challenges you, you often meet? You know, they're the typical challenges of, of uh, transportation. You know, travel days have become <laughs> very difficult. Uh -huh. um, and, uh, you know, honestly, I, I don't even see them as challenges in, mm -hmm. a, in a negative way. It's more a positive way. Oh. How do I get permission? Or how do I uh, help someone understand what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. How do I... Um, how do I show this very important story in a way that people can look at the picture and understand better? 
I see. <laughs> well, well, sometimes weather, you know, play play weather? a certain role in in this. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't I found a way to fix the weather. It's like <laughs> 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 it is what it is, you know. But you learn to work with weather also. Oh. I mean, bad weather makes really good pictures. Oh, so for good photographer, so any weather is uh, like uh, yeah, it's the worst it can, can work. The worst what weather for photography is is a bright sunny day with no clouds. Oh, really? It's the worst. Well, for us. As amateurs, we think that might be the good day mm, <laughs> for taking pictures. No, 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 no. Because it's bright and harsh, you know, and oh. you can't see faces clearly, and, and it, it takes away the color. I see. What if, for example, you only have a short period of time to take photos, and that, that time is happens to be on a bright sunny day? Mm -hmm. Is that a way to fix the problem? No. <laughs> 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 Not at all. There is, a, I mean, you, you know, you can you can try to work to use the light you have, but um, no, you can't fix the day. Ah, oh, it's very humbling. Yeah, yeah, and also from the pers uh, you know professional point of view, mm -hmm. uh, is it is it necessary to have very you know expensive equipment no. to enable you to take good photos? No, um, you can take great photos with a with a telephone now, you know, with an iPhone, iPhone or a smartphone, yeah. Um, it's lovely if you if you become serious about photography, um, when you get a professional camera, yeah. you have more choices, you have more creative choices. Mm -hmm. But it's not necessary to have a fancy camera to take good pictures. Ah, so in your opinion, what are some essential maybe elements or factors you need to have for you to take good photos? Well, you know, you have to be competent at understanding mm -hmm. the, the technical side of it. That's you, that you just need to know, like any, any other career. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have kind of boundless curiosity. Ah, okay, that's good. Boundless curiosity. And then I curiosity. think you, you have to uh, realize, like, that like any art, you must grow and grow and grow mm -hmm. and, and learn from your colleagues and mm -hmm. understand uh, how to, to improve yourself all the time. I see. So I also have to go out to really take photos, learn by doing. Learn by doing, learn by watching, learn by looking at photographs in publications and thinking, mm -hmm. hmm, how did he do that? You know, how can I, I wonder if I could do that. And, uh, or I don't like that. I'm going to do it a different way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So any maybe any tips you can give to like amateurs? I know many of uh, many of the audience are not professional photographers, yeah. but they really like t taking photos, especially around nowadays with with uh, iPhones, uh -huh. mobile phones. We take selfies most yeah. of the time, but not all the photos they take are um, that pretty, that good. Yeah, well, I think it's understanding that photography is like music or dance or uh -huh. anything else that you you know, the more you work at it, the better you'll get. And, um, but it's, it's kind of lovely that you don't have to be a great photographer. You can enjoy photography, whether it's your career or whether you're just having fun on a trip. <laughs> Thank great. you so much for taking the interview. We really learned much from you. Yeah. Wish you all the best. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.